Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Unlike many other Microsoft applications, you have three different areas in which you will perform tasks within the Access interface. First, you have the application window, which is the outer frame of the program that contains the ribbon. You also have the navigation pane, which displays all of the various objects within the database. And you have the tabbed document area, where you create, display, and edit the various database objects in their own separate tabbed windows. Inside the main application window, you will see the navigation pane shown at the left side of the application window. As you select objects from the navigation pane to open and edit them, they appear within their own tabbed windows to the right of the navigation pane. The application window contains the quick access toolbar shown at the top of the window, the ribbon, as well as the status bar shown at the bottom of the application window. The navigation pane organizes and displays the objects within your database. If you created a blank database, you will not have any objects other than the new blank table that is opened by default when you create a new blank database in Access. You can change the way the navigation pane organizes and displays its database objects. However, that will be covered in a separate lesson. For now, it is enough to understand what this object is called and what its purpose is within the program. Each object that you open or edit from within the navigation pane appears in its own tabbed window to the right of the navigation pane. In each tab, you will see the object's name. The type of object is indicated by the small icon next to the name of the object in the tab. You can click the tabs of the objects that you have opened to display their content. You can close any currently displayed tabbed window by clicking the small X that appears at the right end of the list of open tabbed windows. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.